Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and you might be saying to yourself, hey, this problem looks familiar. Didn't we just do something like this? Yeah, we did. I just wanted to give you more of an opportunity to practice these skills, ordering numbers, dealing with absolute values, dealing with negatives. All of these skills show up on the first five of the GED where you won't have a calculator. So let's keep on working those skills. So take a look at the directions here. It says, Arrange the following in order, so we're ordering numbers, from greatest, ah, uh, this time I'm going to start with my biggest number, to least, and we're going to end with our smallest number. Okay, once again, do not, do not try to order numbers you don't understand, whether they're fractions or they're decimals or they're absolute values or they're opposites, don't mess with them until you understand their value or you're going to order them all wrong. And so I'm going to do that by simplifying. So let's take a look here. The, this says the opposite, the opposite, I can read a negative sign out front as the opposite, of the absolute value of negative 4. Now again, we have that lovely inside-outside principle of math that we work with the insides first. And so I'm going to deal with the absolute value of negative 4 before I deal with the negative out front. So let's do that. The absolute value of negative four. Well, remember what absolute value means. It means distance. And so basically all you do is turn this negative four into a positive four. Distance is always positive. And so absolute value bars always turn their insides positive. Now I want to grab up a different color so you can see what I mean. All I just did right there was deal with this. The absolute value of negative four is positive four. But I have not yet dealt with this negative out front. When you're simplifying in math, whatever you haven't touched yet drops down. And so that drops down out front. And so I can see that the opposite of the absolute value of negative 4 is actually negative 4. All right, next one. Next one is just negative 2. There's no simplifying to do there. Negative 2. Uh, next one, absolute value of 5. Again, all that absolute value bars do is make their inside positive. 5 is already a positive number, so this is just 5, okay? 5 is 5 units away from 0 on the number line. That's what absolute value means, distance from 0. Okay, now, you might be saying to yourself, what does it mean when this negative is outside of the parentheses? You can just read that as opposite. What is the opposite of 3? Oh, negative 3. That was easy. <laughs> now this one's a little trickier though. This is the opposite of the absolute value of one. Again, remember that inside outside principle, we should start with the absolute value of one. Of course, the absolute value of one is just one. And now drop that negative sign that was out front and I get negative one. Great. Now I can order these from greatest to least. Well, I only have one positive number, five. So it's definitely the greatest. And now, sorry. Let's get out our number line because a lot of students struggle with ordering numbers. So greatest is furthest to the right on the number line and least is furthest to the left. So after zero, my next number would be negative one. So this uh, negative one will come next, which what was it written as? N the opposite of the absolute value of one. Oh, I should write them in their original form. Sorry. So this 5 was originally the absolute value of 5. So I'll write the absolute value of 5. Then we have the opposite of the absolute value of 1. Okay, let's cross these off. This is getting messy. Now, what would come next? Oh, whichever one simplified to negative 2. And hey, it was just negative 2. So negative 2. And then negative 3. So that one was the opposite of 3. And then finally now this gross one, and I need space for it. The opposite of the negative, oh no, the opposite of the absolute value of negative four. Woo, I confused myself. Okay, so um, again, I just used these simplified numbers down here to help me to order them. But when I put them in order, I put the original number and that's how it's probably going to appear on your GED. But luckily, if this is on the GED, it'd be multiple choice. <laughs> All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.